What's up y'all? It's Dart Man with Fixing the Fish. And today I wanted to go over something that popped up on me. This morning I went out and I took this uh, to my local lake to do a little bank fishing. And I, I really wanted to give this uh, new combo a, uh, a real test drive. And I really wanted to try this new reel out. Now as you remember, I bought this on eBay and uh, you know it seemed to work pretty good when I first got it I did notice it was grinding a little bit let's see if I can I can duplicate the sound so there's a little bit of grind in there I didn't think anything of it uh, when I got it I thought maybe it just needed to be cleaned so I took it apart, I cleaned it, cleaned the bearings, re them. them. Uh, this morning when I went out fishing, it was still grinding, still doing it. And I noticed it gets worse on the cast. Um, it gets a lot worse on the cast. So when I, when I went to make my cast, you could really hear it just grinding. Just, I'm like, man, what the hell? So when I got home, I started taking a look at it. And let's see if I can get the side plate off. I don't know if y'all can see that. On the edge of the spool, there's a, uh, a burr. Like something got wedged in between the spool and the, uh, the side plate. And that is causing the grinding and it's actually affecting my casting so that I'm not getting as much distance as I should be. That, that little burr is slowing the spool's rotation. So even though the reel works great, uh, it doesn't backlash at all, I'm losing distance. Um, just not getting that distance, you know, and I feel like this, this reel is more capable. <clears throat> but the reason I wanted to bring this up is it's a Shimano, so I figured I could go online and buy a new spool. It's not that easy. Unfortunately, because this is a JDM, I have to buy parts for this in Japan. So I had to buy a new spool. It was pretty expensive. It was about $80. And the shipping was an extra 20 I think. So I ended up spending a good bit of money. I bought this reel on eBay. There's a, quite a few of these on there. If you're looking to buy a, an imported reel, you probably shouldn't buy one from, from eBay. Uh, I thought I was saving some money, and you know, it, it's got problems. That spool is damaged. I can live with the wear. I mean, it wasn't wasn't as expensive as you know, brand new reel. I saved some money, but with the new spool, I ended up pretty much buying a new reel and it sucks so you know my warning to you is if you buy one of these on eBay just be aware that these things are gonna have possibly have issues I'm not saying that it definitely will but if you do and you want to return it you have to ship it back to Japan where you bought it and there's no warranty because it's used, you know, just be aware of these things when you're buying a high dollar reel. Now I'm going to fix the problem with my new spool and I'll be fine. But it did get me thinking what could have happened could have been a lot worse, you know, if it was a... Uh... Oh, and, and by the way, the, the spool I bought was the last one. <laughs> they only have one left. I don't know where else to get one. I, I think it was uh, japantackle.com. There might be another site. I couldn't find one but I literally bought the last spool for this reel. And you know, what if it had been another part that I couldn't get, you know, I would have been really screwed. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say was just be careful. If you're buying a high dollar reel from Japan, just be aware that you're not gonna be able to get parts in America, at least as far as I know, and you're gonna have to import your replacement parts. There are legit companies that do sell brand new reels and I think if you're going to spend the extra money to get a, 
a, a nice reel like this or you know metanium or, or something real high end spend the extra money and just buy it now um, this was supposed to be in the description minor wear that spool is not minor wear that that's damaged you know I I just bit the bullet I'm gonna keep it with the new spool I'm a little disappointed but you know I took that chance buying off of eBay and I just don't want other people to make that mistake so think of this as like my public service announcement for, for the day Hopefully the next video will be a little better on my luck, but for now, I'm just going to try to get this reel going. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.